So first you would like to look up Cal State Apply in your Google search or whatever your search engine is. And once you've gotten to the website, you're going to click the link and determine which term you're applying for. Now, this is where you'll create your account. Input all of your information. However much you wish to put in. An email address and a phone number that you potentially could be reached at so that they can contact you about your application later on if necessary. You can choose to opt in to receive calls and text messages from the phone number you provided so that they may be able to again tell you about your application process and from designated schools and various programs. For the sake of this, we're going to say yes. Now input a username and password that you know you will remember because it will be important when you choose to finish your application. Be sure to write it down somewhere so that you are sure that you remember exactly what you wrote. Once you finish, go through the terms and conditions, agree to them. And if you are located in an urban union country, click yes, but we are not, so we click no. And there you go, your account has been created. Now, once you've created your account, it will want you to complete your profile. So for this, you choose which qualifies for you. For the sake of this video, we will be a first bachelor's degree program that you will be applying for. Choose which one also applies to you, whether it's a graduating high school senior, transferring with an associate's degree or just transferring from a community college or for you. For this, it applies to you, but for the sake of this video, we're going to say no. If you're returning to the CSU campus, you'll click yes, but we are not, so we're going to say no. Make sure you click the appropriate military status because there are military benefits that you would get if you qualified under anything else. Now it will take you to selecting the programs that you wish to apply for. As you go through this portion of the application, make sure that you are clicking the specific program that you wish from the desired school. And in order to begin your application, you have to at least pick one program. We're going to go down to San Diego State. Fall term, campus, and now it will show you all available programs at the moment. So for this, we're going to click on business, but again, pick whichever program is meant for you. And as you see, each application has a fee, a $70 fee. And as you increase the number of campuses you apply to, the higher that total fee will increase. Make sure you pay attention to the deadline for when you need to complete the application, which is November 30th for CSU campus. And now you're in. Now in the submit application tab, you will see an option to apply for and check your application fee waiver status. 
This will use the information provided on your application to determine your eligibility. If you are approved for an application fee waiver, you can apply to up to four CSU campuses for free. If you select more than four campuses to apply to, the $70 application fee will be applied to each additional campus. Be sure to follow us on our social media pages and feel free to give us a call or send us an email if you have any further questions.